Hey, you're watching Those Were The Days, or perhaps just listening to it on your device. Mm. Uh, Creasy Parker is here with me. Yes, I am. We're talking nostalgia, we're talking pop culture. Yes, we are. But, Creasy, I did have a question about um, one part about the UK and the UK music. Now, I recognised in you uh, that you are certainly... You have a little bit of Anglophile about you. Mm -hmm. like you watch Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. You like Agatha Christie type yeah. stuff. And I was surprised to know that your favorite movie franchise is James Bond. Mm -hmm. And also you love Duran Duran. Yeah, I did. Now, which came first? Was it through Bond, or did you like them prior to Bond? Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, this goes back to... Because they were like the, the queen of the 80s. Yeah, right? but here's the thing. Like, I remember back in the 80s, this is something, um, everybody... Uh, okay, so at that time, we had a lot of uh, what's called the British Invasion. Mm. That's what it was called. The Second the second Invasion. Second Invasion, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, that, and I remember in America, they... they they marketed it as that. So you had Culture Club. Yeah. You had um, Duran Duran. Duran. Depeche you had Mode. Depeche Mode. You had uh, um, Talking Heads. You had uh, uh, Talking, Talking, Talking Heads. Talking Heads is American. American. Uh, but but no, 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 no. I meant uh, Madness, but not Madness. Um, the other one. The Specials? No, 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 no. no. Oh, man. I'm trying to think of who it is. It doesn't matter. Um, but we had so many other, yeah. so many groups, right? Yeah. Uh, Frankie Goes to Hollywood was Yeah, was but Frankie, they're definitely huge, but I'm trying to, there was another, there was another group. Um, Thomas Dolby was out, um, but yeah. there was, I don't remember. Kate Bush. Group. Kate Bush, but Kate Bush didn't really come be, a, well, she wasn't as popular she, in the Yeah, States. she was stuck in the 70s anyway. I'm so. trying to think who that other group was. AHA, but AHA was, AHA was more European. Um, but there was another group. Any, anyway. Um, oh, um, I know. Um, Spando Ballet. Spando Ballet was, yeah, but they're only... ABC. ABC was popular, but Spando Ballet was basically, it was only once a one hit wonder in the States. Right. Um, ABC was popular, but there was another... Because I, I used to be good at this. I used to know all the ones that were big in the States. Right. Well, to be... Anyway, okay. That's, but okay. at that, the thing is, uh, we had... Sorry. We had a lot of... Uh, that was called the British Invasion, right? Yeah. British Pop Invasion, Second Invasion, whatever it was yeah. called. And so even the radio stations, it's funny because this radio station in my hometown is more, it's all hip hop now. And it always had been more of like the urban kind of thing. Yeah. Um, however, um, at that time, they played a lot of British invasion stuff. Mm -hmm. It was pop. So it's always been pop. Right. But it's more towards urban pop. Right. Now, but at that time, they would always play British stuff, Depeche Mode mm -hmm. and all that. And I remember Duran Duran. I mean, they, would, they would play Huey Lewis in the news. You know? Right. right. Um, and then they would say, play Michael Jackson. And then they would play like right. something from I don't know, like like Cool in the Gang. And then they play, right. but then they would play Duran Duran. Right. Like, you know? And so that's how I kind of got into that music is because it was more of an eclectic mix. Right. And you know, I grew up in a, my city is a mixed city. We had a lot of. Uh, let, it, let the viewers know. What is, what is my city's name? Yeah. Oh, my, I'm, I'm from a city called Oxnard, California. But the city, now it's a lot more, it's more Latino now. Okay. But at that time, it was more mixed. Okay. And, like, and during that time, uh, well, that's why I'm saying that the radio station at the time would play um, different genres. Right. You know, level 42, for example, yeah. or whatever. I couldn't bloody man. Yeah. yeah. And so, that's what I got into. And so, all that music, like music from Top Gun, you know, the, mm. like Kenny Loggins ah. and stuff. They would play stuff like that. So, <laughs> right, right, right. So, Footloose. Foot, yeah, Footloose. They would play Footloose. Uh, and all that. Like, um, she's a maniac, maniac, on it, whatever that. Whoever, flash dance. Flash dance, but uh, uh, Michael Cimbella, oh, whatever his name. Yeah. There you go. Lionel wow. Richie. They would play Lionel Richie. They would play, yeah. you know, they wouldn't play Dolly Parton or anything like that. But no. They would play, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. All that stuff. All, all that pop. Stuff, yeah. Man. DeBarge, for example. Yeah. They would play. Yeah. Yeah. But um, anyway, but going back, okay. they, they would always, they would play some cult, a lot of Culture Club, a lot of Duran Duran, and that's when I, you know, I started to appreciate that type of music, right? right? And I was a kid, I was, this is earlier, this is 84, 83, 85, and so I was like yeah. seven years old, six, yeah. Yeah. six years old, whatever, and at that time, and so, you know, as a kid, you hear this stuff all the time, and really, the Duran Duran and all that, so... I also, around the same time, they would always, on TV, they would play um, a lot of James Bond films, especially James Bond marathons okay. for Thanksgiving, for Christmas. Uh, so yeah. if I was off of school, <laughs> I would watch, we'd be watching that, and, you know, of course, you, you know, so that's how I would get into that. And I, I really liked watching the locale, seeing the locales that he would go to. Yeah. 
Um, so for me, like, again, I, I'm a James Bond nut, you know this. Yeah, I know this. Yeah. And I, I, you know, and the reason why is because it's a, he's a world traveler. Yeah. He's a, you know, suave right. gentleman, gets, yeah. gets ladies, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, um, he, he has a lot of money. Well, it's, it's very, it's, it's very, um, it's very much like a rap video. Yeah, there you go. You know, you know yeah. like just Get flaunting all the best all cars, the best women, <laughs> making it rain, the best, and shit. Shit, the best yeah, drinks. Exactly, exactly. Making it rain, <laughs> the best drinks too. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. But uh, best, and, and I always wanted to like. It's not necessarily that I wanted to be James Bond. It's more that I wanted to go here. Like for example, Brazil. Yeah. Like in the movie Moon, Moonraker, mm. he goes to Brazil, and um, at some point in the, in the film, and when I saw that, I was like, oh, I want to go there at some point in my life. You know. Or even in uh, You Only Live Twice, he goes to Japan. Yeah. And, you know, that's, that's look, where, look, where, look where we are now. We're in Japan, yeah. you know. And a lot of that's because I've always wanted to travel the world. So I wanted because I saw James Bond doing it. Yeah. So that's what kind of got yeah. me. Now, the funny thing is, one of the worst James Bond films, in my opinion, is A View to a Kill, which has the Duran Duran song in it. Duran Duran is the artist that sings A View to a Kill. Yeah. Um, that's the last film with Roger Moore, uh, with Christopher Walken's The... Yeah. And Grace Jones. And Grace Jones. The, yeah, yeah. I love, I like, Grace Jones is great, by the way. I, like, I, I love that. I love her. When he, when he, he lets him slide down the stairs in the, in the airship. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he says, what is his, oh, he had to drop out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good old James Bond uh, quips, right? Yeah. Or, actually, that was uh, Christopher Walken that said that. But. And they're in, they were above Paris they're, when that happens. I mean, the video... Well, no, all right. So the scene the you're Eiffel talking Tower. about, scene you're talking about, okay, so that's, that's a video. Aren't video. they just going over the Eiffel Tower? Is that how no, it? they're in a big blimp, it's just over some part uh, of California, probably. Ah, uh, right. And okay. they had that me- big meeting, like kind of like Goldfinger. Yeah. But they had a meeting, and the guy says, I can't do this, I'm sorry. And they're like, okay, well, let's just well, yeah. take a step out. And yeah. He just gets dropped outside. He's like, ah, and he falls. Oh, <laughs> well, he had to take a step out. He had to step outside. Like, that's yeah. that's what he said. Yeah. But anyway, uh, it's funny because it, I, so I think it came around the same time when you you asked me which one is did I get into first. Mm. I think it, that that uh, appreciation came around the same time, around eighty five, I want right. to say eighty five, eighty six, eighty four, around that time. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, I do like Agatha, Agatha Christie. Um, I so, like mysteries. So do you think do you think the, the that Bond film got you no that made you notice Duran Duran and then you thought I want to hear what else mm, they've done actually I think I heard things from them beforehand right um, okay. because that was one of their later songs from what I remember so what is it about Duran Duran that that out of all the that's other 80s that's a good Brit- question because there's a lot of British stuff to choose from from this stuff um, the 80s. you know what I and think you it, like all of it but, yeah I do as I do too but but you, you, Duran Duran strikes a chord with you for some reason. I'm, I'm I think it's curious. just you know why because they're the quintessential. For me, it's the quintessential sound of the eighties. You know, right. they have that like the drums. That's a muted drum sound, right. the drum machine sound that they right. have. Um, the um, keyboards is very new ageish, very new, like very. So I, you know, you know me. I'm a fan of the seventies music. I love that dark uh, energy from the seventies. Dark, um, you know, like that. That dark party energy from the seventies, yeah, I love that. Yeah. So, uh, you know, disco is disco, it's fine, but I'm, I'm more of a funk guy, right? Right, right. But if you listen, to, but it's a, such a contrast when you listen to that and you listen to Duran Duran or something from the eighties, right? Because it's like it's all of a sudden everything's brighter, right? And you know, I think the time is during that Reaganomics era and all that. Right. I think the time we needed that, you know, and mm. I, I think that was the feel. Everything is brighter. All the colors. Um, go just, faster stripes. Right, yeah. We can, go, we can do it stronger, we can do it better. Right, right, Maybe. right. You can, and it just feels like a breath of fresh air. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Where, whereas the 70s felt dingy and dirty. And, <laughs> and Trust me, I love the 70s. I just love yeah. it. But the 80s just felt just more like, oh, okay, we're in a new era, a new planet kind of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And looking, yeah. Let's look forward to the future. And okay. I think and that, so with the music of Duran, to me, Duran Duran just brings that out more. Right. And just, the, even um, Le Bon's voice mm. is, the, the, I like the uniqueness of his voice compared to like someone like um, like a Culture Club, uh, Boy George. Because right. Boy George, to me, sounds a little bit, a little flat to me. Right, okay. Um, not necessarily boring, but kind of yeah. more like, uh, just typical. Mm. Um, you know, like 
it's funny. I, I shouldn't say it like this, but I think Boy George sounds to me just like Pete um, Burns. They have that similar kind of sound right. to me. Which and, and Pete Burns, if you guys don't know, Dead or Alive. Right? Yeah, but it's just but what, for whatever reason, it's just, but uh, Simon Le Bon's vocals to me just just, his French, vocals, crisp. Is, yeah, 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 it's crisp, crisper to me. Yeah, and, it's, and it just fits the eighties, yeah. you know, just because yeah. it's fu- and it's funny I say this because what I listen to is other uh, Duran Duran's later work in nineties, like uh, Ordinary World. Yeah, and they uh, tried to sort of move at the time. Yeah, and, and actually, it was a hit. They had hits then. Um, they did, yeah, at the beginning, yeah. Ordinary World. That's another song that they had in the nineties as well. Save a prayer for me now, or something. Like that. that was eighties. Nineties. Um, ah. Uh, Morning after what is it? What Seven is it? for the morning. Yeah, that's eighties. It's the same song. Too, is, is that, I, oh, right, okay. um, um, ordinary world is another song. Come and done. Oh, and, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's yeah, it. And, then, and they try to do something else. Electric Barbarella in like ninety seven yeah. or ninety eight, whatever it was. Yeah. And I just it just didn't <laughs> fit. Like it didn't fit. You know, yeah. and that, like it's weird when I because here's someone else. Wham, for okay, example. Okay. I think that's the other group I was thinking. Wham. That, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, that's it. That's yeah. the same piece. Yeah. Now, Wham and then George Michael, actually, what's weird is that if you listen to them in the 80s, and then you listen to George Michael in the 90s. Oh, it's night and day. It's night and day, yeah. but he matches both eras oh, I see. to me. Yeah. yeah, Like, George Michael in early 90s, because I don't think he really mentioned the late well, that 90s. that particular part of the 90s. Yeah, yeah, like like uh, Freedom 90 and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, it just matched The it. fashion world. Yes, like yeah. the Vogue world, like Pat Madonna world. world. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But... For some reason, Duran Duran didn't fit in the 90s to me. Mm. It was just like, why are they even trying? Mm. And I, I remember thinking that, too, when they did about <laughs> that, that electric crapperella, whatever that's yeah. called. I don't know how to say that. But electric Yeah, when I brought, when that song came out, like 90, I want to say 97, 98, of course, 97. <laughs> but I just felt like they just kind of jumped, not jumped a shark, really, but I just felt like they just it they wasn't, it strayed. Wasn't your, it wasn't, it wasn't my yeah, feeling wasn't of band. what Duran Duran should yeah. have been. Yeah, you know, I guess you could kind of okay. I'll say this: Casey and the Sunshine Band back in the seventies. Wow. Okay. All right, and then Casey and the Sunshine Band in the eighties. It's the same thing. Right. Like, or even say Bee Gees of the seventies, Bee Gees oh, of the eighties. It's the same. There you go. Where like Bee Gees matched the seventies, but, but in the eighties. Uh, kiss of the seventies, kiss of the eighties. Oh, there you go. That's a that's a very good uh, analogy. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they just don't. It, like, so for me, Duran Duran eighties, Duran Duran nineties, it's, it's the same thing. Yes. <laughs> you know, like there's no, no makeup there's a, kiss. <laughs> nasty. That's really nasty. That, that's where, and so that's where I'm coming from. I right, think, right, with that. Right. Yeah. Well, it's good. I'm I'm so glad that you like so many British uh, songs and bands and stuff. I really recognize I that with do. you. Do no. You it, don't. You don't stick to your. You know. That's good. No, I, I I like world music too. I, I like I like different. Um, uh, I we talked about Brazil earlier. I I love Brazilian music too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, absolutely. And just. Yeah, Japanese pop, and Japanese Italo. city pop, city pop. I like Italo disco. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I like I yeah, yeah, city pops. City pop's awesome too. Yeah, well, yeah. that's a whole different. Oh, we will talk about that later. Uh, Thirteen, yeah, it's good. There we go. Good, nice. All right, and we will talk more another day. In the next episode. Please yeah. subscribe and share and like and all that jazz, and we'll catch you in the next. And episode. all that jizz. Oh, did I see that? I did.